Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a premium Integra Coach diesel pusher that's the smallest on the market and has four huge slide outs. This is the 2024 Integra Coach Riata XL model 37K. We're gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Riata XL and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you this beautiful, this luxurious Integra Coach Riata XL. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hi everybody. How's it going? It's going great. I want to congratulate the winner of the uh, last bobblehead. Yes. Uh, it will be linked in the description below. And also guys, stay tuned for this video so you can win a bobblehead. Phrase it pays. Make sure you listen and hashtag bobblehead in the, in the comments. But you gotta watch the whole video, Andrea, cause you never know what question we're gonna ask today. You ready? Let's begin. Model is Riata XL 37K. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet, 10 inches. It has a 100 gallon freshwater capacity 62 gallons of gray water and 41 gallons of black water. Very nice. This does sit on the Spartan K2 raised rail chassis, okay? This isn't a Riata, it's a Riata XL. So it has the Cummins L9 turbocharged diesel, 380 horsepower, 1150 pound feet of torque. Andrea, this motorhome's small, but it is not cheap. This is the smallest motorhome that they're able to make that gives you the most highest end features. I love it. Beautiful front windshield, Andrea, the biggest windshield in the industry. Up top, you can see the 360 cameras. Look at the awesome Integra Coach headlights there. It looks fantastic and it does have a generator and it's not telling me on the specs, but I believe it's an Onan 10K generator. We'll check that momentarily. Not only that, we do have mobile eye collision mitigation. By the way, if it's not a 10K generator, it'll be an 8K generator. Coming on down here, we do have chrome mirrors on both sides of the motorhome with cameras integrated in the mirrors. Possibly the smallest mirrors. It ain't about the size of the mirrors, Andre. It's about how you see your reflection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good point, and we will talk about that later. Look on down this motorhome, Andrea. A beautiful full body paint job, front bus style door, awnings on the slide out, and an armless awning above the door. And then right here, we do have the keyless. Touch, keyless touch entry. Now this is a Spartan chassis, which means it does have the independent suspension and these Integra coaches are the best handling, best riding, quietest motorhomes in the industry. And then look at these tires, they're in the Michelin's, I love those. 275-80R, 22.5 with shiny AccuRide rims. Coming on down, frameless windows look fantastic. Aluminum slam latch doors uh -oh. with carpet in the storage. Womp womp. Now, Andrea, that carpet does make it quieter, but I don't like this carpet. This is a raised rail chassis, so that is a slide out tray there. And those are replacement tiles for your floor. We do have a television on the outside. Samsung power sound system, JBL. Fantastic. Other side of that storage. Andrea, I love this motorhome because it's small and compact. These slide outs are huge and magnificent. It's small but mighty. Small but mighty. What, what else do you know? Who else do you know is small and mighty? You. <laughs> Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. Right over here. And then right here, we got batteries and electronical components and everything. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a 10,000 pound hitch. You should be fine with 10,000 pounds. Never max it out. Always do seven, eight, nine thousand. Always know before you tow. It does have the uh, air for the tow brakes if you want to have those nice Air Force One brakes or a stacker trailer. Really nice rear design. Uh, backup camera integrated there. Notice the red Integra Yeah, text. is that the first time I've seen them do that? Yes, yes. And you know what that looks like? 
You know what color that looks like? It looks like Jen's Starbucks Stanley Cup. Bing! Jen, put a picture of you with your Stanley Starbucks cup right there. Um, that's what it looks like. I woke up at four in the morning to get to Starbucks to get her that Stanley cup and her mom because she really wanted one, but they were like 200 bucks on eBay. And I'm like, uh-uh, I'll wake up at 4 a.m. and get one for the 50 bucks. Do you know why, Andrea? Because I'm first in line. Remember when I used to do that for a living? If you're not first, you're last. If you're not first, you're last. Fun story, come on. I used to uh, buy all the iPhones and shoes and everything because I used to get- And game systems. Yep, and game systems. I was like a professional, it wasn't line. professional. He was, a pro he was a professional line waiter. Yes, right here, 50 amp power cord with a reel and a uh, surge protector or auto transfer switch there. Very nice. Matt, weren't you the type of kid that camped out of the stores? I did. That's how I bought my first car at 16 by myself. Nice DEF because I slept outside of Walmart for two days by the PlayStation 3 and then I flipped it. But one of my favorite flips was, Andrea, where did Kayla get married at? Oh, in Annapolis. What was the restaurant? It was that Chart book. House. Chart House. Yes. Here's the outside hookup and everything. Nice. That's a macerator, water filtration yep. system, outdoor shower, holding tank. Really nice wet bay. So when we lived in Maryland, Maryland does this thing called the Parade of Lights on the water. And there's this restaurant called the Chart House. And it was first come, first serve. Somebody paid me 200 bucks to get them the best table in the restaurant because you had to get there eight hours oh, ahead the of time. Christmas lights? Yep. Yes. And guess what? They got that best table and they paid me 300 bucks. Dang. Yep. You, you want to know why as well? Um, <laughs> the, oh, that's the Aqua Hot. Hydronic heating system, 250D with storage. You, Dirt oh, Devil back right there, yes. central back and more storage. You want to know why they tip me more? Because they put on their Craigslist listing. This is back when Craigslist was big. They said- Other side of storage. That more I tray comes out this way as well. They said, wear something nice because I guess they didn't want a bum or something. You know what I'm saying? Getting kicked out of the place. Right, right, you know. Storage? So you know what I did? I go there in the nines with a full suit and tie and the guy shows up, he's like, dude, what are you wearing? And I'm like, you said dress up nice. He's like, I meant don't wear baggy pants with holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, and then over here, fuel, fuel fill. And this is where you push for your generator to come out. And Onan QD 10,000 generator. You were right. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Integra Riata XL looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Cargo carrying capacity. 5,853 pounds. That's a lot. All right. All right. Opposing slides, as you can see, they're in. The walkway is very small. Yes. So it is, you know, a little bit harder to get down. It opens up a lot more right here and through here. It's still a little bit tight. You can still open the fridge. Here is the bathroom and the bedroom, which looks like it has a tilt-a-bed. So while we get the slide outs out. Yes. While we get the slide outs out, we're gonna give a big shout out to our sponsor. But did you hide the thing in here? Okay, we're gonna give away two bobbleheads today. Uh, first bobblehead, comment down below, have, what's the longest line you've ever waited in to buy a product? Hashtag bobblehead and comment that down below. How long was the line? Where was it? And what item did you purchase? And would you do it again? This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parts, even the cores of engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, thousands trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. 
Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andrea, small and mighty. Four huge slide outs on the small motorhome. I'm super excited to show everybody. Let's get started in this front cockpit area. This is Spartan. This is Spartan. Telescoping steering wheel. In out, pull, up, down. Right here. Battery boost. Oh, look at this. Adjustable pedals right oh, here. Wow. Very nice. Day shades, night shades, mirror controls. Right here's my auto leveling. Air brakes. Very nice digital dash right here. Over here, you have the 360 camera from above, navigation, GPS, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Everything that you want right here is very, very nice. Let me see if I can up oh, menu. I don't even know how that works. So there's the cameras there. You can see what's going on all around you and everything. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's very, very comfortable. It has a footrest. It's power. Mm. And it has a cup holder over here, the USB. And guys, you know, they're just in case you want to close this up so you don't fall in. Would you look at that? And oh yeah, over and up. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. And then there's a sound system there. Nice little uh, storage here. Oh, and both these seats do swivel. Ah, very nice. A Samsung television here. And then right here is a uh, little bit of storage. And there is carpet in the storage over here. Now, this does have a bunk over the cab, Andrea. Isn't that interesting? It is interesting. And the diesel push right here, you plug it in there, and then it goes up and down. What is the weight on this? Uh, it's a Leopard one, so it's probably 500 pounds. Don't quote me exactly yeah, oh, on that. it's a little bed. It's a small bed. So okay. it might be 250 or 300. I, oh, no. It's right here. 300 of sleeping space distributed or 200 of one item that's storage and there is a ladder that would go there yes and then throughout this whole motor home it is the whisper quiet air conditioning system okay over here we have some lovely art deco on the wall mm, no oh nice storage above very nice very nice very nice very good storage very nice cabinetry very nice quality speaking of quality you can see these hinges and everything but check out these balances, huh? Balances. Uproot! Ding! Oh, Andrea loves these balances. Very nice. Not only that, you do have daytime shades and privacy shades in this motorhome. So it's very, very nice. Very nice, I tell you. Over here. It's electric. Power. Yes, yeah. electric recliners. Cup holders here storage under here Matt, very nice you know there's a table down here what do you mean like an end table i'm wondering oh, if you okay. could do the um if you could do the theater seating in here well these are theater seating i mean not no i mean the like the entertainment seat like the bigger the sofas maybe maybe i don't know uh you'd have to check with integra to see if that's an option but on this motorhome it's not an option but i am sitting here directly across from this tv entertainment center now what's nice about this this tv is on a televator <laughs> right here we got some storage with adjustable Are shelves you okay why wouldn't i be okay you're just hiccuping and everything you know better out than in i always say <laughs> now you wonder why your nickname is shrek <gasps> oh look sound bar above very nice if i'm shrek does that make you know my donkey Aww. She would be the cutest donkey. Yes. We should do that for, for Halloween. Halloween. Yes, that would be so cute. Shrek and donkey. Right Adjustable there. Shelves. Yep. Right here, we do have a very nice table. Solid surface. This does drop down to make a bed. It's actually a little small and a little tight, especially for a diesel pusher. You know what I'm saying? And then, mm. I bet you there is storage underneath this dinette. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, there's the ladder for the bunk. Yes. That's very, nice that it flips up like that. Very, very nice. And then over here, Andrea, I guess this could be pantry space or whatever. Maybe a little bit for the kitchen. Really nice storage. Maybe like a little coffee bar, backsplash, solid surface. Really good drawers here and a fireplace. 
that does produce heat from electricity. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. You ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here. Stock number 273480 in Ocala, Florida is $503,026. Andrea, that is MSRP. Sale price, we currently don't have one on our website right now, but Jen, please contact Cosmo. Please see if we are allowed to advertise a sale price on this unit. And Andrea, I don't know if we're allowed to advertise the sale price or not allowed to advertise the sale price. There's one thing I do know. I know we will get everybody the absolute best price in America on this Riata XL or any Integra Coach product ever. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash matscatch. We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and Andrea, a member of our team, will help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, show everybody this kitchen. Okay, look at this, a lot of, a lot of countertop right here. Yes. Solid surface. We have uh, some storage here for like spices. Okay. Nice window. Okay, they got one of these in here. Man, That's nice. very nice. Uh, let's see, I think this is a pull out peninsula. Yep. Okay. So you have more counter space just in case. Okay. And then you got three in each drawers. Yes. Oh my goodness. And then pull out that thing in the top of the drawer. There is nothing. Hey, oh, in right there? Here? Yep. That piece of wood. Where? In inside. There's no piece of wood inside. I'm sorry, this is wood right here. Oh. This just shows you the uh, three quarter inch plywood that they use on the roof for Integra. Really, really nice. We have a nice big residential style sink here. Yes. Is that for the uh, soap or water? Water. Okay. And then underneath, oh goodness, big space right there. Oh, hey, that's $174 trash can. Yes. Thanks, Integra. And then over here, we've got a Furion convection microwave. Very nice. And then here's another one of these little um, storage things for like spices. Okay, very Two nice. Burner induction Furion cooktop. Okay. Hmm. Wow, drawer. really good storage. And another drawer. Yes, oh look, and there's the- uh, the, the sink covers? Yes, yes, you don't need to put them on. They're very heavy. Um. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. I was looking for something. Oh, what's that? Is no oven. No. No dishwasher. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. 500,000, what the heck? <sighs> All right, so here's the LG residential refrigerator. Think or? Thin Q. Is it Thin Q? Or Think. All right, so is it locked? So it's unlocked. So we open this up and what's in there? Oh, it's the prime poopers <laughs> and bobblehead. Burr, 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 burr. Guys, hashtag bobblehead on trail. What, what, what are you asking? Um. What do you think of this fridge? Is this yeah, Think? Yeah, really, we, we go back and forth all the time. I think it's Think. He thinks so, it's Think Q. Hashtag let us know if you think it's Thin hyphen Q or if it's like Think, T-H-I-N-K. Right. Let us know down let below. Let us know how to pronounce it properly. And again, this is the second bobblehead this episode. Yes. So you can make this one a very short, simple answer and then the other one a complicated answer. Here's the freezer. Yeah. Drawer here, and then here is the pantry. Thank goodness. Has the nice drawers here. Very nice. They lock into place. Lots of space there, and then behind you is the pad there that controls your slides and. Very nice. You can see four huge slide outs on this motorhome. Yes. Home. Kicking butt, taking names. Pocket door here on the bathroom. Yes. Uh, not too bad. You know that step is not bad at all. This is a phenomenal shower, Andrea. Big, boxy, plenty of space wow. in here. Um, this has the um, shower miser. Shower miser, which regenerates the water, so you're not burning through water, waiting for it to warm up. Very nice. Over here, we do have plenty of mirror space. Fantastic. Nice cabinet. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. And look what's right here: liquefied our brand of army toilet treatment. Guys, 
please buy our liquid or our tablets coming out soon with powder. Oh. All you gotta do is go to primepoopmusician.com and you can pick it up on Amazon or at your local General RV. Whoa. Look at that. Storage under the sink. Good size sink right there. This is a very low toilet. Really? Look at me. Oh, and it's on like a little pedestal kind of too. This is got, oh my, what? You can't do that when you're doing the, the prime pooping position. What just happened there? You can't, you can't yawn. Okay, let's just reverse. <laughs> <laughs> so it never happened. Andrea, this is what Nexus needs. Cause they Yes. Yes, they do. But Andrea, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. All right, and a good entryway into the master bedroom. It does have a pocket door. Wow. King size bed. Art Deco! Uh, no. Oh. But it's nice. And if you guys haven't joined our Facebook group, we're, we are gonna be giving away bobbleheads exclusively on our Facebook yes. group, which is called Club Art Deco. So make sure you- uh, Adjustable shelves in there. Do your thing there. Very nice storage here. Drawers, how many, six? Wow. Yep, six drawers. Lots of drawers. Those ones are small. They're smaller on the end. And yes. TV right there. Another wardrobe with adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I don't know. It, oh, I think there is storage behind it. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, there's a safe in there. Oh, for all your monies. Nice uh, Sony sound system. Okay. Yay! Stackable washer and dryer, splendid! Very nice. Okay, there's a step up right here. There sure is. That's where your engine is. Here is the closet. Another, oh my gosh, another closet? Yes. Wow. Very, very I nice. You have a lot of clothes. <laughs> that's not me. Huh. I don't have a lot of clothes. Huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's for me. Yeah. And then uh, the king size bed, which is a tilted bed, has nightstands on each side. Yep. Storage above. Oh yeah, very nice. And then let me just show, cause down here there is a little cabinet, like you can open. But overall, just a really nice bedroom. A fantastic motor home at a fantastic quality. And when the bed is tilted, you do have this little seat area so you can sit down and put your shoes on or play video games, you know what I'm saying? Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things we love about this motorhome, three things we dislike. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Let's do three things we like about it first. First? Yes. First, may I? Sure. Four slide outs, huge. Get the heck out of Dodge. It's a small, luxurious motorhome. This is what people have been looking for and asking for. This is the absolute most amount of quality at the smallest, easiest to drive size. But when it's parked up, you got four huge slide outs. I love it. That is number one, Andrea. Tell me something good. Uh, no, Tell me something good. I like, I like all the kitchen counters. Talk to me. Here. It's really nice. You have this, you know, plenty of space to prep food. You also have the peninsula here that pulls out. Yes. It's just, you know, really nice to have that kind of space. That's number two. And then number three, Andrea, where all these brands mess up, when they're trying to make something small, they sacrifice with the bathroom. They give you a small, crappy bathroom, not an Integra. They give you a huge shower, plenty of storage space in there, in a prime pooping position with that new style of toilet that I've never seen. I like it. I love it. Those low lights are I want are some cute. more of it. Those, those light sconces behind you. Well, why didn't you show them out earlier? I didn't even notice them. Well, now you do. And guess yeah. what? I like them too. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about this motorhome. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it, and Andrea. I'm going to steal yours. May I go first? Sure. Those small mirrors. Look at this. Oh, I know. Look at this. I know. Teeny tiny. It kind of like... It you know what it's it like? It, it, like it does the RV like a shame or disappointment. You know what it's like? It's like a big man, like Will, but with like little hands. Or little, <laughs> little feet. No, no, the feet no. are fine. No, no, no. Like if, if there was like a almost six and a half foot man with really tiny feet, that would be so weird. No, no, that's not weird. The little hands are weird. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I have little hands. Put your hand in my hand. I have little hands, but it's cool because I'm 5'4". 
But I'm talking like Will being 6'3 with the same size hands or even smaller. Oh yeah. That's that weird. weird. That's what those little mirrors are. It's like, hey, yo, you're okay. nice to I meet know. you. <laughs> that is dislike. You know, I'm, we're gonna get a comment. So we, well, I'm a big man with little hands, and you're mean. Yeah, we're not. We're we're not trying to be mean. We're just uh, doing a like a not a metaphor, but some, like a gents. What is it? Metaphor. You guys know what we're saying. We're not that Sim educated. Yeah, symbolic. Like now, I can't even think. But anyways. that's just like number one, Andrea. <laughs> What's this like number two? I'm really bummed out there's not a dishwasher in here. Talk to me. Um, I feel like every, well, most of the diesel pushers I've been in have dishwashers. Yeah. So. Especially one that's $500,000. Right. That is a big dislike for me. Now it doesn't mean it's not an option in this motorhome. I do want to let everybody know, but the fact that it's not coming with it, I do not like that either. That is dislike number two. And then dislike number three for me, Andrea. Love the storage, love the Spartan Cassie chassis love the r2 raised rail don't like the carpet in the underneath never have liked that never will like that and yes it does make it quieter but i don't like the carpet getting wet well andrea that's it that's the review thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are interested in buying this unit or any unit go to generalrv.com slash matt's cash we'll link it down in the youtube description below you guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of our team will get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Integra does read the comments. They do watch the videos, you guys. So please leave your feedback. Um, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. And make sure you guys comment twice for both bobbleheads yes. in this video. Thank you absolutely so much for watching and Andrea, We'll see you next time.